In this video we're going to show you how to determine the width of the spacer bars for the clamping operation. And we're going to be starting with a 3 inch wide steel spacer bar at the back end and a 3 inch wide steel spacer bar at the front end and we're going to put our wood pieces in between. Then after we put our wood pieces in between these two steel spacer bars we will determine how many more spacer bars are required. The back spacer bar is placed on top of the middle section and the bottom section so that it's flush with the back edge of the middle section. And the front steel spacer bar is placed so that there's approximately one-fourth to one-half inch overlap extending beyond the front edge of the middle section. And then we put our pieces of wood in between the two spacer bars and determine how much of a gap we have to fill in with a spacer bar. In this case it's approximately one inch so we need a one inch spacer bar. I have placed a one inch wide spacer bar between the front board of the panel and the steel spacer bar. And this one inch spacer bar is three quarter inch plywood and uh, you do not need to have steel because there's a uniform pressure along the whole length of the piece of wood and it's not going to flex. Whereas you do need steel at the front end and the back end because there's pressure just at the very end of the bar. There's one pressure point there and one pressure point there. One pressure point at the foot end of the clamp and over on the other end of the steel spacer bar.